Russia is becoming the new hotspot for COVID-19. The country now has more than 280,000 confirmed cases. That's the second fastest growth rate in the world. Freelance reporter Lucy Taylor joins us from Moscow with more. Lucy, thanks for joining us again. Let's talk about these latest numbers and, and the jump in those numbers. Yeah, so we've had 9,000 new cases uh, this, over the last 24 hours and the previous 24 hours. And before that, it's been about 10,000 cases a day for several weeks. So maybe the very first signs of a slowdown, but really cases still surging here in Russia and here in Moscow, which has had about half of the confirmed cases since the beginning of this outbreak. Moscow is still in partial lockdown. Many people still at home and working from home still required to have a digital pass before leaving home by car or by public transport. President Vladimir Putin, though, has eased the national restrictions. So many people in other parts of the country are now able to go back to work, are now encouraged to go out and, and work if they are able to, if it's not possible for them to do so at home. Um, so there has been some easing of those restrictions. He did, though, give the different regions the, the capacity to keep strict restrictions if those cases keep going and it does seem that cases are still continuing to rise although uh, we have heard from the health watchdog this weekend that they are optimistic they do think that those numbers are stable although it will take a long time to bring them down completely so the number of people who've died is about 2600 so that's low in comparison to the overall number of cases and low in comparison to many other countries why is that lucy Yes, yeah, so just to give some context, Spain has a similar number of confirmed cases and it has 27,000 deaths, 10 times more. And many other countries with similar outbreaks have similar numbers. So these do seem extraordinarily uh, low numbers here in Russia of people who've died from coronavirus. One reason is that Russia gives an autopsy to any death from an infectious disease. So 100% of suspected coronavirus cases, they say, have had a formal autopsy. And Moscow uh, said that about 60% of the cases in the city of patients known to have COVID-19 were recorded as having died of other causes after that autopsy. So it's a case of people dying with coronavirus, but not from coronavirus, and therefore not being added to the official death toll in a way that they would have been in other countries. Even with those cases added, though, I mean, to take Moscow again as an example, we know the overall number of deaths in Moscow in April was about 1,800 um, deaths higher than in the previous April in 2019. Um, so even if you take those overall deaths and assume that they were all due to coronavirus, which Russia says isn't the case, that would still be a fairly low number of deaths. Russia says that that's because the outbreak is under control here. Um, they say they're doing widespread testing, about 6 million tests, which is more than most other countries in the world. And they say they're catching cases at an earlier stage and therefore being able to control the outbreak better than other countries. But there are, of course, some who question those figures and question whether it really can be such a low death toll when the overall size of the outbreak seems to be so large. Thanks for this, Lucy. Lucy Taylor reporting from Moscow.